Hey kids! Uh, so it's Tool Tuesday and today I'm going to actually walk you through a lawnmower. Um, you know there's a lot to a, lawn, a lawnmower um, so uh, and I can only show you the lawnmowers that I have. Um, you know there's obviously different versions, um, different brands, different you know they some are battery powered, some are gas powered um, and I have a gas powered and a battery powered so I'm going to show you both of those but uh, you know I can't possibly show you all the different lawnmowers that are out there but I'm going to give you a rough overview of what they look like and what models look like today because these are fairly new models so um but first I have a dad joke for you so did you hear that Tesla is going to launch their own line of lawnmowers yeah they're going to call it Elon ah, so anyway let's get started Okay, so before we go outside, I just want to run through a few things uh, about mowers that um, some are misconceptions, some are just confusion, some, you know, maybe you've uh, seen people trying to start a mower and they're frustrated and then you're not there going to try. <laughs> so, you know, uh, mowers have come a long way in a short amount of time, uh, or maybe not so short a time, but, you know, back in the day you used to have to choke. A motor uh, or mower to get it to start even a motor in a, a vehicle i remember when i was a kid you know you, there was a choke right on the dash and you'd have to pull it to get the thing to start basically a choke what a choke does is it um, restricts the amount of air that is being allowed to the carburetor which is what you know you need to start your engine and so it gives it more gas and less air and then you just ease the choke off but now you know the um, engines work without a, they have a they have an automatic choke so it's already built in so you don't even usually have to mess with them unless you get you know uh, an older mower or if you get you know I don't know if they even sell them anymore but if they do and they're cheap you might want to look at whether it's an auto cho automatic choke or not I think instead of an automatic choke or instead of a choke I think they have uh, a prime button a little bubble that you you push and it sends more gas basically the same thing getting more gas and less air so that's something you probably don't have to worry about though you won't on the model that i'm going to show you um it, it's automatic so you don't have to worry about it um and then the gas you know it's just regular gas you just use regular gas um you want to make sure you have good gas and so if your gas is old uh you can refer to my stable video where my brother talks about stable to keep the gas um, a good quality so that it'll start for you, okay? Um, oil, you need to make sure to check the oil, right? The oil, any kind of um, engine that runs, you know, it, it's, it needs to be lubricated to make sure that the parts aren't free seizing up, right? Because they're rubbing against each other, they need to be able to, there needs to be a lubricant in there. So that's, you know, that's why you have the oil. And then the blades, you want to keep the blades nice, right? So, you know, if you're cutting with, something that's not sharp then you're going to get something that doesn't look great so you want to try not to mow rocks you know try not to mow over rocks because that just chips away at your blade and you might occasionally need to, to sharpen your blades um, and then a, a mower usually comes where you can raise and lower the mower all right for different um, heights depending on how you like your grass and i like to keep my my grass a little bit longer in the summer Kind of protects it if i go too short then it seems to burn faster but you know if you, you're in a drought <laughs> you're it's and you're not watering your grass it's going to turn brown that's just the, the reality okay um and then there's a mulch feature on the mower i'm going to show you um the mulch feature basically just you know you hate to mow and get rid of those clippings because those are nice nutrients for your for your lawn um but if your grass is too long and you try to mow and try to mulch um, it's going to be a long day <laughs> so i would recommend if your grass is longer and you want to mulch just it's going to take a while but you're going to want to mow it once at a certain level then lower it maybe a half inch then go back over it and mulch it and that those shorter clippings will fall down and help to you know add the nutrients back back into the soil um, so the model that I'm going to show you, the mower I'm going to show you is a Craftsman M270. It's actually one I was gifted uh, from Lowe's last year at Father's Day. Um, so I'm very thankful for, for them for, for giving it to me. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool model. Um, it's got a pull start and it's also got a push start. So it starts with a, a battery that also, the battery also works in their weed eater. So when I do a weed eater video, I'll show you, show you that too. So, uh, yeah, so it's pretty pretty handy. You just come out and, and it starts right up, starts right up. Um, 
I've only used it probably five times, five or six times, because I also got another mower that I'm going to tell you about in just a second. Uh, yeah, so, and then another thing cool about this model is it's got a, and this is kind of more standard for a nicer mower. Um, it's got a hose attachment, so you can um, attach your hose to it and hose it out so it cleans uh, the blades out because you don't want to, you know, it's easy to get in a hurry and you've been out mowing your lawn for two hours and ah, I just, I just want to put it away. But it's nice to clean it up because then when you come back to it, then it's clean and you start fresh, right? So, um, and then I'm also going to walk you through, so I was gifted uh, a heart mower. It's a brushless uh, battery powered mower. And it's amazing. Um, I don't have the model number handy. I'll put it in the description for you. But uh, the thing is amazing. It, uh, it's like a Cadillac. It has lights on it even. Um, and it hums. I mean, it's smooth. Uh, raising and lowering the mower is one hand. You can just do it. It's spring loaded, lifts it up and down. The battery seemed to last. And Hart reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to have them sponsor a video. And honestly, I, I didn't, I didn't feel right because the, I just don't know about the battery. The battery worked great and so no problems there. Um, but I, you know, I, I just got it last year and it worked great and I've used it several times and it's worked great. And we've, you know, now we're into a new season trying, it's still working great, but I just didn't feel right recommending it to you if you invested this money in this mower. Um, and then the battery didn't last because, you know, the main part is the battery. Uh, you really need that battery to work, but the mower is amazing. So I'll show you that. I'll walk you through that too. If you're thinking about buying and just showing you um, what your options are there. So anyway, let's go outside and take a look. Okay. So here's the, here's the M270, the Craftsman that I was talking about. So you have oil right here. All you got to do is just check your oil, make sure that but there's plenty of oil and there is it's all clear because this is pretty new okay so that's one of the things we want to look at here's the battery compartment that i was talking about where it actually has a battery a craftsman battery that goes in there and you can you can push start your uh instead of pulling it it's got a push start so i'll show you that in just a second and then here's where your gas goes okay it's just regular gas goes in there so you just want to make sure that's full pretty full I just used this about two weeks ago so um, and what else do you need to pay attention to especially when it's brand pretty new you should be good for quite a while but you want to check the oil make sure you don't run over rocks check the gas um, I think we'll go ahead and fire it up here so here's how this one fires up this thing right here you need to push that down that's a safety measure in case you're mowing and you lose your footing you let go of that the motor cuts nice safety measure okay if you try to pull this um, without holding this down it's never going to start okay so you've got to push that down okay let's go ahead and just try it here let's give it a good pull as one See? and then you let go of that that kills it so normally before you mow you just go ahead and start that up hold it and just let it warm up for like a minute before you start you know mowing around uh, let your engine warm up first okay so let's see if it starts on the next one okay now let's try that electric start that I was talking about that's right here okay there's a, there's a button right here so I'm going to close this. Okay. So, and then this right here, this is actually something I can push down that helps, that makes my wheels spin to help me when I'm pushing the mower. So I just, as I'm mowing, I've got this down and then I can just push it manually, right? I can just push it manually or I can push this down and it causes my wheels to spin okay so there we go all right so here's a close-up of this button that I was talking about so you got to hold this down right hold this red lever down and then I just push this 
All right, here, so here's how you lo raise and lower it too. So you just, on this particular one, you just put it in and then you just, and that's, that's moving the, the front wheels up and down, both of them. Okay, some of them, uh, some mowers have it, one here, one there, one there, one there. In this particular mower, you just move the front one and you lift it up and you put it down, right? And you just clamp it in, depending on the height that you want, okay? And same thing on the back. It's the exact same thing on the back side. And what else do we want to show you? That's kind of it. Here's the here's the um, the bag. So when you're done or when it gets full, you just lift this up and pull this pull this out, right? To remove it, and then you just put it back. I'm kind of working backwards here. There you go. And then if you wanted to mulch, you would just remove that. Like that put that down like that and then that would just trap everything inside here and then the, it would mulch and this is the handle that I would use in order to spin those front wheels okay as I'm walking along all right and then there's the hose right that we you could just attach a hose to that and run the hose and then that would clear out your your blades from underneath it clear all that out for you okay you just run that and there you go uh, I think that's about it this one's pretty straightforward so I'm going to show you my other mower now okay so this is my um, battery powered mower and it just uses one of these okay and I'm going to show you where that goes and this thing's pretty slick there's some pretty amazing things about it I'll walk you through a few things real quick um, it comes with a um, where you walk behind it and it just kind of keeps up with you but when you push on this it just keeps pace with you so that's how you make it go forward okay and so you need to actually extend these arms okay and lock it in okay and then the way you start it I'm gonna put that battery in I'll show you a close-up this in just a second but I'm just gonna walk you through it so okay the battery's in Okay, and now all I do is you push this. There's a button right here to start. I gotta push that. Actually, I gotta push one of these first. So I push that and I push that. Okay, so I gotta push either one of these and I push that. So the way this works here, um, this is the battery. The battery just, you just lift that up. The battery just goes right in here. Okay, simple as that. That goes there. This thing actually has some lights on it. <laughs> so, pretty fancy. I don't know that that's necessary because in my mind, my practical mind says, uh, why would you want lights? Because it's then it's drawing battery power and you want your battery to last as long as possible, right? So, so here's another thing about this too. Um, if you buy a spare battery, you can, it's got a, a storage compartment right there. So you put your battery in and that way if you're out mowing and the battery dies, then you just pop that one out, pop the new one in and you're still going. You're not having to run back inside, right? It's nice to have that spare battery. Um, the way you raise and lower this is with, it's spring loaded. All you're doing is just pushing it up and down like that. See that? It's moving all the wheels. So you just get it where you want it, and then and you can actually see right here it says one inch on up to four inches. I can get a close up of that for you. But then it just locks in wherever you wherever you want it. Um, the bag's really easy too. Right, pretty slick. You just pull it right off there. Um, that's about it. I mean, there's really not much to this thing, but it works really well. Um, as long as those batteries are going to last. I would highly recommend this. That's the only caveat I have for you is I just don't know if those batteries are going to last for you. Um, other than that, it's great. I've been able to mow my whole backyard and then half of my front yard on one battery. And then they also sent me a, the weed eater and I'll do that on a, on a future video, show you the weed eater that they sent me. It also was, works really well. It all hinges on the battery though. You know, I've had um, a drill in the past and it was great and then the battery 
didn't last. And so um, that's why I love the DeWalt. I've had my DeWalt for several years and the battery always charges. So um, yeah, so as long as these batteries are charging in a couple years, I would highly recommend this. So um, I think that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, mow a little bit. So I'll get some video of me, of me mowing. I'm probably gonna mow it at um, probably about three inches, I think, because we're starting to head into a little bit warmer weather and I like to keep it a little higher. So um, we'll go ahead and do that. But I think I will show you a few close-ups real quick. Okay, so here's the close-up of that dial that I was talking about and then the spring loaded. So you can just, just push that thing in and lift it up and down. Okay, makes it pretty easy. And then you just, when you get it close, you just get it close and then make sure it lock, locks in where you, where you want it to be, right? Okay, and um, I think that's about it. Other than this, right, this compartment here, um, that's all that is. That just slides right down in there pretty, pretty easy. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and mow. Okay, so what I normally do is I do the perimeter first. And I, and I have a weed eater, so you might not have a weed eater, but so if you don't have a weed eater, then don't, you know, you're not going to be able to do that first. But so I normally would weed eat the perimeter, anything all on the outside. Okay. And then I go over it and I work my way in a big circle. That's how I, it works in my backyard, in my front yard. I do a big circle and then I go back and forth because it's long, right? So I do a big circle, get the outside first because you want to have a system. You want to work your way so that you don't have bald spots <laughs> sitting around in your yard. You want to have a method to it, okay? So that you're, you're going and you're making sure you cut everything so that you don't have, um, not bald spots, but some stray guys just kind of sticking up there because the temptation is, oh, I'm gonna run over there and get that or I'm gonna run over there and get that. No, you just want to have a system and just walk and enjoy it. Put on some headphones, listen to some music listen to a podcast, uh, what have you. It just kind of makes it a nice, pleasant walk, but then you're you're covering everything, you're not missing anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, mow a little bit and you'll catch me coming back around a couple times, so. So it's pretty full. I just need to empty the bag now. All right, so you're gonna see here where uh, I'm removing the bag and then mulching. Um, so you'll see where I remove the bag and then I flip that lever down and then I lower um, the, the, the deck is, I'm pretty sure that's the right term for it, the deck 
down just a half an inch and then I mow and just go take it slow and then when you're going along it's just taking another half inch off and it's chopping it all up and putting it back down in your grass you can see when I do it um, that it ends up uh, leaving a little bit of grass you might need to rake you know um, yeah but that's that's how you would mulch and so here's another warning too when you do mulch uh, or when you buy a mulcher mower it's a mower mulcher combo that's all I've ever had. I don't know. I'm sure there's a mulcher just by itself. But if you have, if you buy that and you mow and your lawn is long and you go to mow, um, it gets clogged up. And if there's, if it's a little bit wet too, it'll get clogged up in your bag. And so you'll have to stop. You don't necessarily need to empty the bag. Just make sure the mower's off, right? So you kill it and then you uh, take that bag off and then you can kind of scoop in there and stick that in the bag and kind of push it all the way to the back of the bag and then you can put it back on and then start mowing again or you can just take it mow it you know you can drop it drop your clippings in your yard waste and then get back and, and do it that way too I've just found with the mulcher you know it wants to mulch so if it starts getting full it wants to start mulching it and then you get clogged and then you can't go any further and so you have to stop Anyway, so it's, it's another reason why you might want to um, keep your grass shorter, you know, don't, don't let it get too long. Another tip, you know, with that, uh, when you're using the, you know, the, the, the battery, you, either in the Craftsman that I have or that heart, you know, remember when you're done, take it out and charge it so that it's fresh when you need it next time, right? You'll be, <laughs> you'll thank me later when you, uh, end up leaving it in the, uh, mower and then you go back to use it and it, you know, it's not working. So, uh, yeah, make sure that you take it out when you're done and charge it. So that's about all there is to it. You end up with green on your hands. Uh, so I've got a dad tip for you. You probably saw when I was mowing. Uh, invest in a pair of boots, uh, rubber boots, 20 bucks probably. Um, I've had those boots for probably at least 10 years and they've served me well. I take them fishing with me too. Uh, it just saves your shoes, <laughs> you know. Uh, don't be that guy that walks around with white tennis shoes and green, uh, green dyed soles. So. Uh, anyway, you know, it's worth it to invest in a, in a pair of boots um, that'll save you. Um, so, and also the, you know, that hose um, where you attach the hose at the end to clean it. If you don't do that every time, it doesn't work very well. You know, if you try to put that on there and there's some grass that's dried and kind of stuck up underneath there, it's not going to work. Um, but if you do it every time, you know, uh, so that the grass is fresh, it's not, hasn't had a chance to clump uh it should work halfway decent you just put that on and i i think you're supposed to fire it up that's what i normally do just uh, fire the thing up and let it run um, i take the bag off and put that that mulch um, lever down uh yeah so hopefully um that'll work for you if you decide to do that and if the stuff gets you know uh, built up too much then all you do is just you know gotta get a spray hose and just get underneath there when you're dealing with gas and you tip a mower on its side gas can leak and you know so just be careful make sure you you pay attention to what you're doing uh yeah enough and obviously with the um with the battery powered one it didn't have that connection just turned upside down and hose it out and you don't really need to worry about a whole lot with that. Um, it is a great machine. So I hope the battery lasts and then I'd be happy to endorse it once uh, I've got maybe a year or two under my belt. Uh, so anyway, uh, I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and God bless you.